documents, uh, spreadsheets, calendars, etc. Obviously there was not much internet in those days. And what we try to do now is to bring this whole thing into the kind of 4G and 5G generation. So kind of how would the device look like and how would it feel if it was like brought to kind of modern standards where we have a browser, where we have the cloud, where we have 4G communications, where we have Skype and, and lots of social media. So this is the result. It's basically a, a device which is an Android and Linux device. Uh, out of the box it's Android but you can download Linux for the device. So you can have uh, different options on Linux. Uh, at the moment we're showing Ubuntu, Debian, Sailfish as options for the dual boot uh, Linux. And uh, it's very interesting that the out of the box experience is an Android device where it has a keyboard. Why is this important? Because a lot of people uh, need to type and they need to type a lot of things, whether it's reports, uh, news articles, uh, notes, while they're uh, traveling and they just have random ideas that they need to put down. Um, whether they're students writing notes in a lecture, uh, whether they're um, you know, writers actually writing a whole book, right? There's a lot of need for this. From the business perspective, um, a lot of business people would like to have something small that's pocketable, uh, where they could have a spreadsheet, which they cannot do at the moment on anything that's uh, well, possibly on a tablet, but that's again portable, it's not pocketable. Yeah. Uh, and typically you see them doing it on a laptop, they're uh, very cumbersome with, you know, in, in airline seats, so it's very difficult. So, uh, the device is really what I would say for the creative person, somebody who needs who's generating content all the time, uh, or editing content, curating content, uh, it's great. As well as that for the system operators, it's fantastic because I can go, you know, with a pocket device, I can go to a machine and do some maintenance tasks and servers that I need to do if, 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 if you're a system operator. I certainly could have done one with, with one of these these, these last couple of days in, in all the keynotes and everything. I'm, I'm making notes on a smartphone because my laptop's too heavy. I don't want to carry that around all day. You don't want to take the laptop out. I mean, I was talking to a, a, an Uber driver who has a chauffeur company a few days ago just taking an Uber. And the, the guy says, look, I've got a laptop, in, I've got a chauffeur in company. I've got a laptop, I do Uber from time to time, but I've got a laptop in the back of the car and I'm confirming my appointments for the chauffeuring company. And this this will be much better because I don't need to carry a laptop. Yeah. It's very simple. Laptops are heavy, big, and you don't want to carry them. This is extremely portable. So, you know, writing notes here, it's extremely easy, very, very easy. And uh, so that's kind of uh, one part. I'll show you the system part as well. So, uh, just going in terms of system operation, if we're going to a server, uh, so here we're going to the server, and this is connecting, and now uh, in a few seconds, after the exchange, password exchange is done, now we're on a server in London, you know, <laughs> and I can actually say, okay, you know, what's the storage, okay, I'm going to clear some things, and, and that's in your pocket, right, I can put this, close it, put it in the pocket, right. How much RAM is it? So the device is uh, 64 gigabytes of flash and 4 gigabytes of RAM. Okay. Yeah. So that's the limit on the uh, MediaTek processor. So we've gone for a kind of high, high end. But uh, that's, it's pretty good. Uh, if you're not excessive on the photos, we're not hugely big on large megapixel cameras because we think it's a productivity device. It doesn't necessarily need large cameras. Fair enough. So there's a there's a front front facing camera uh, here and the back facing camera option. So basically, here's the front facing camera. I'll put it there. So here uh, you can see the camera, uh, and there's an optional camera on the back. So you can see. There are kind of two options. Oh, okay. One with the uh, camera and one without. Uh, these are available right now? Yeah, they're available. Uh, there's a bit of a backlog on the orders, but you can order them now. They're in production, so they're shipping. And uh, if you order a device now, you will get it. Uh, the latter half of April. Okay, and the, which is the, really soon. The, the prices is there, is there much of a difference between the 
One with the back facing camera and without. So the, the back facing camera is an add-on. So you have to buy it as an add-on. So the device comes like this. Okay. And then the camera kit comes with a separate cover. Yeah. Okay. It, it was kind of, you see, this is a very sleek design. Yeah. And there was a lot of discussion on Indiegogo about whether we should have a camera or not on the, on the, on the, on the, on the outside. And it was kind of 50-50, so we kind of made it an add-on. Uh, because people wanted to keep the clean lines, sure. like a PDA, or they wanted to kind of get a camera lens somewhere. Okay, so well, what's, what's the, the price? So the the price is 599 US dollars for the 4G. Okay. And uh, 499 US dollars for the uh, Wi-Fi only version. Nice. Thank you very much. Thank you.